Hi everybody. The book I have for you today is called, well, why don't you help me read it? I see T-H-E. I know that spells the. I also see D-O-T. Our book today is called The Dot. Okay. And the author and illustrator are one person again today, and his name is Peter H. Reynolds. Okay, and we're gonna read about it, and then we're going to use it to help us come up with an art idea and a writing idea. The Dot. Art class was over, but Vashti sat glued to her chair. Her paper was empty. So she was at art with her class, but she was not able to draw anything. Vashti's teacher leaned over the blank paper. Ah, a polar bear in a snowstorm, she said. Very funny, said Vashti. I just can't draw. Her teacher smiled. Just make a mark and see where it takes you. So here's the teacher. Vashti grabbed a marker and gave the paper a good strong jab. There. The teacher picked up the paper and studied it carefully. Hmm. She pushed the paper toward Vashti and quietly said, now sign it. So all she drew was a dot, but the teacher is asking her to write her name on it because the teacher is going to keep it. She's supposed to sign her name. The next week when Vashti walked into art class, she was surprised to see what was hanging above her teacher's desk. Well, there's her picture. It was the little dot she had drawn, her dot, all framed in swirly gold. So the teacher put it in a frame and hung it on the wall. Hmm, I can make a better dot than that. She opened her never before used set of watercolors and set to work. So she likes that her teacher framed the other one, but she thinks she can make a better one now. Vashti painted and painted. A yellow dot, a green dot, a red dot, a blue dot. The blue mixed with red. She discovered she could make a purple dot. Vashti kept exper experimenting. Lots of little dots in many colors. If I can make little dots, I can make big dots too. Vashti sharp splashed her colors with a bigger brush on bigger paper to make bigger dots. So there she is. She's got a really big piece of paper. Vashti even made a dot by not painting a dot. So she used different colored paint and she didn't paint in the middle and that made its own white dot. At the school art show a few weeks later, Vashti's many dots made quite a splash. Here's all the dots that Vashti has made. And the grown-ups are coming to look at them. Vashti noticed a little boy gazing up at her. So here's Vashti. Here's the boy. You're a really good artist. I wish I could draw, he said. I bet you can, said Vashti. Me? No, not me. I can't draw a straight line with a ruler. He thinks she's a great artist, but he says he's not able to draw. Vashti smiled. She handed the boy a blank sheet of paper. Show me. The boy's pencil shook as he drew his line. Let's see what he drew. Vashti stared at the boy's squiggle. So there's what he drew, just a squiggle. And then she said, please sign it. She's going to keep it, but she wants him to write his name on it, just like the art teacher did for her. And that is the end. And on the back, there's a big dot. Okay. So today, I want you to start with a dot, and I want you to turn it into something else. You could turn it into an animal. You could turn it into a plant. You could turn it to someone in your family. So I started with a yellow dot right in the middle of my paper. And then I turned my dot into a flower. And then I started with another yellow dot here and I made it into a sun. And so I wrote a dot 
is a flower and a sun. So here's my flower and here's my sun. Let's look at the words that I wrote. I started with a dot. Then I wrote the word is, is. Remember the S can make the Z sound. This is a tricky word, a. Uh. And then I stretched out flower, flower, and a, and, a, s, a, n, sun. A dot is a flower and a sun. Okay, so start with your picture. Start with a dot and turn it into something else. And then write about it. At the top of your paper, you might write a dot. And then tell me what you've turned your dot into. Then you can show it to me the next time you see me on video. Have fun with your dots. Bye.